What's going on guys, Jordan AK Spectre here today and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. Today I finally got in my brand new OPC. It's been long awaited. So I'm really excited to get this thing and see what we put together and we're gonna give, I'm going to give you my first impressions at the end of the video and also I've got shields behind the camera and if you guys have watched the video of his DX Racer Sentinel, I'm going to let him kind of give us some comparisons between uh, the Master Series here from OPC and his DX Racer. And before we get started, I just want to let you guys know, uh, I know in my GTX 1080 video, I told you guys I was going to be putting my previous scratch card in my wife's build. But unfortunately, something's come up, and I'm not going to be able to build that PC, so that'll be safe for a later time. And also, uh, we have an affiliate code with OPC, so you can use the, the code T2G at checkout and get $10 off your next order. So that would really help us out and be much appreciated. So let's get this thing rolling. Alright guys, we're going to cut this box open and uh, we're going to lay everything out. We'll just kind of take you uh, with us through it and I'll probably speed up the video and maybe put some nice music to it. So uh, this will probably take us a few minutes, but it'll probably just be a few seconds for you. And then we, uh, if anything important comes up along the way, I'll stop and we'll talk about it. seen somewhere where somebody said that the logo was embroidered kind of like crooked and it is it, the the OPC logo is kind of sideways if you can see that yes yeah, shields is cringing in the background because for all those non OCD people you will never understand but for all my OCD viewers out there you completely understand I think it's something we can uh we can uh, live with though. Uh, It'll be on your way back. You won't look at it. Don't worry about it. Yep, that's that's shields in the background having a panic attack. That's uh, the leather feels nice and soft though, so that's good. Some kind of over there. Turn that. Huh? I don't want to look at it. Oh, don't want to look at it. I got more we'll flip it over so shields can't see it. And for all those say that he's just putting on, no, that's the real struggle. <laughs> I thought I'd take a knife to that, and I thought about my decisions. <laughs> centerpiece I would say this is kind of part of the screen to see you know this so I also seen a video that where he talked about the crooked lumbar pillow that the back was also crooked so we'll see we'll check that out like I said it's not really a big deal but you know it just needs something kind of nice to be looked over maybe fixed and I would say it is slightly crooked it's I don't, I don't know if y'all can see that it's not as bad as the lumbar pillow but uh, definitely livable. It's not, not no big deal. And I'm I'm super OCD, so if I say that, you could probably take it to the bank. You could probably uh, take my word for it. I mean, but you know, what a function boat. And I, and I do like how this comes with like an Allen uh, key yep. and everything assembles like that. Because that makes it a lot easier, like if you don't really have any tools on hand, or like in my situation right now, I'm uh, rebuilding an engine, my engine from my car, so my tools are elsewhere and I don't have them with me, so that's that's nice to nice to have that.
guys. So what we thought was going to be the simplest part, which is literally just a little detail, has turned out the part that has took us forever to do, but we uh, we think that we figured it out. And a buddy would be is good here too. Here, right there, that's not that good. So let's see if we can get this one to work after we fiddle the other side forever. Hey, well you know, first try. I think it was made for it. I'm not like going until you're done twisting. Okay. Bam. So there we go. Oh god. That's a monitor. Yep. And here we have it. This side's in nice. Okay, there we go. So there you have it, folks. That's it. Alright, guys, so here we have it. My OPC all put together. Uh, it looks really good, I think, to personally. And here we got some adjustable arrests, you know, up and down. I think I like a little soft rubber right here. It's a little bit harder uh, compared to this chair, and they're a little bit skinnier. This is my old chair, by the way. This, I got this, I picked this up at Office Depot for like 100 bucks or something. A little over a year ago, it's just got the mesh back and mesh sitting. Not a whole lot of support, you know, after sitting for a while. Uh, my back would hurt a little bit, but no big deal. But I was just really excited to get this. The armrest up and down, uh, a lot of people really enjoy that. I don't mind so much because I don't actually prop my elbows up on these. I just use my arms on the table. She just thinks I'm weird for that. Cause you will. Just... You will. So. Once you can adjust them and you can actually use them, you will. Okay, and then uh, here's we got the neck pillow and the lumbar support pillow. I don't really know if I'll be using these honestly. Uh, I'll probably use the lumbar pillow, but I don't really know as much about. Oh yeah, that lumbar pillow is nice. Oh yeah, that feels nice. And supposedly this is climbing really far, so we'll, we'll test it. Oh my God, about that right there. You, you almost watched me die. So. Oh yeah. Yep, that's uh. That's pretty far there. 170 you, degrees. You could probably take a nap in it if you want to. I mean, probably not with the lumbar pillar on there. That'd probably, that'd probably suck a little bit. But. Just to scoot that up a little bit. Anyway, I ain't really too worried about it right now. Because it's super late. We've worked all day and all that goodness. It's like kind of straight for bed. Well, I might play some Tomb Raider because, you know, I stink for $7. But I'm register. I mean, for what they are, they feel nice. They're kind of contoured to your arm. The seat, uh, I like the side bolsters. It's kind of like a, uh, kind of like a uh, race car. Race car seat, yeah. Like, and uh, in my car, my actual seats are like that, so it kind of hugs you. And I, I like it feeling. Some people not so much, but uh, I'm gonna let Shields take the seat because, like I said, he has a uh, that DX Tracer Sentinel, and I'll kind of let him give you all the what he uh, feels like compared to his chair. And I take note, his chair is also made for taller people. I'm. I'm about, I'm 5'11", about 190 pounds and 6 is, Shiz is about 6'5", about 190-ish pounds, so he's significantly taller than me. So I'll let him have a seat and see what he has to say. This is for you, Cortland. Um, the difference for the uh, DX Racer, oh, let's lean back pretty far, I get that right. I like the neck pillow better. Uh, it's almost the right height, just a little too short for me. If it was maybe a couple inches taller. It would work. Uh, the uh, on my DX racer, the uh, armrest right here can actually flare out in any direction like this and in. These don't seem to do that. The surface is also flat. Like he said, these are a contour for your arms. Just kind of sit in there, but it's still a good a good width. Even though I do like the uh, lumbar support, it's nice. It's in the right spot. And the neck pillow is a little bit better. Mine's shaped. A little bit different kind of goes down your shoulder blades and props you up a little bit more uh, it is adjustable right so you can go up or down in it uh, the seat is probably a little bit shorter mine comes a little bit farther and closer to my knees I sit in it a little bit better but it is contoured just like mine the wings on the back right here are contoured to hug you in the chair it's just they're a little bit just a little bit wider on the racer, uh, all in all, it's a pretty it's a pretty close comparison. I was feeling the uh, leather earlier on the seat and on the back, and it feels like it's the same type of material. Just this is uh, smoother. Where uh, on the racer, it's a little bit more textured. I don't know if that's on purpose to you know give you some more grip or what that is, but still have your adjustable armrest. 
and he will use these. He says he's not going to, but he will because they help a lot keep you locked in. Uh, but another thing you got to consider, guys, is the uh, price. Uh, how much did you pay for your Sentinel Shields? Five hundred dollars and some change. All right, so I got this OPC on sale. They're having the summer sale, mm -hmm. and then uh, I also used the uh, our code at checkout, and I ended up paying paying with shipping and all. It was like two hundred and ten dollars. So guys, I mean that's a that's a big difference in price. I mean you got to think you're pretty much three hundred dollars difference in price. So, but yeah, now the now that's, that's pretty close too. Yeah, and that's and I think there's also a different series of DX racer that's probably more close comparison than the the Sentinel because the Sentinel, like I said, is made for just taller people or just bigger people in general. This is more I feel like will fit your average player a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is probably your six two and under chair. Yeah. So like I said, she was a six five, I'm five eleven, so from what from what little I've set in the seat already, I, I I feel like it's pretty comfortable for me. So well final thoughts. Leave the people. It's good for what he paid for it in comparison. Uh, I like my chair and I love my chair and I probably wouldn't trade it for this, but if you're looking for something more so in your price range and you wanted something that was almost identical to a racer, the OPC op seat, however you want to say it, overpowered, not overpriced. I don't know if that's actually their slogan, but if it's not, we should email them. We should make it. Yeah. Hey anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and maybe uh, a few months down the road, we might bring you uh, an update and just to let you know how the chair is doing and how everything's holding up. But as always, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, leave us a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.